So um, it depends. So lab laboratory ranges across the country um, are different. And the reason being that they... Uh, will take the whole population of people that they're testing, um, so the adult male population from 18 to however old, um, and they will look at testosterone levels that are checked and they'll get rid of the bottom 5% as abnormal and get rid of the top 5% and then whatever is in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, now, the difficulty with that is that um, 88-year-old Bob, who's just finished a course of chemo, um, will be in the same bag as 18-year-old James who has not and is feeling fine and, you know, and they'll get sort of lumped into the same. So the it, it doesn't really give a very specific um, population size really to be comparing um, and it doesn't really take into account whether or not someone's just been really ill or whether or not they're fitting well or what their age is. And clearly, um, you don't really want to be lumped in if you're 18 year old James and you don't really want to be in the same category as Bob, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> which is kind of, yeah, is really key. Um, but equally, we don't really know how different things should look from person to person Mm -hmm. and we don't really have very good stats on that Mm -hmm. or facts and figures Um, and I think we're a long way off that I'm guessing different people can have different ranges that are natural to them Yeah. Yeah. so some people might function better at 20 and then other people might function fine Mm -hmm. at 10 yeah yeah is that a thing yeah Yeah. and then they just change from that so the notice might be that they go from 20 to 12 and then in that time they feel like crap when they're at 12 but then they'll go to the doctor and they'll be within range. Yeah. Is that something that happens? And I think the other thing to remember is that the time of the day, like you you might fluctuate massively. So people talk about taking their, um, taking testosterone between 7 and 11 in the morning because it's going to be higher during those times. Whereas actually you could take uh, testosterone three times, level three times during the day and it would look completely different. Oh, really? Um, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and that's the other thing that's really important to uh, remember to check when somebody's had a testosterone level done. Actually, it, it's dependent on what time of the day that level's been done. Does anyway. that change through like activ- activity or how you're feeling or yeah. what you're eating or yeah. hydration? I don't know. What yeah, so um, if you have, so for example, if you've done, if you've recently had a cold or whatever or a chest infection or been unwell, then your testosterone level might drop down for a little bit afterwards. Um, if you do take a testosterone level and this will vary person to person if you take a testosterone level directly after exercise depending on the type of exercise it might increase or it might decrease if you've done some sort of endurancy and and it depends on that window but there are fluctuations in that so there's lots of different things that it's dependent on um and you know that's it just adds another variable to make it really not that straightforward for a gp to be managing it in primary care partly because actually they then need to be you know committing to time frames and everything to be taking those um those levels in as well mm-hmm. and if someone's coming in already saying that they feel unwell and generally ropey and run down um and then you're adding in a, a specific time frame to be taking that testosterone level it's it's you know it's it's an extra barrier mm. yeah definitely so so what officially what is the range in the uk so the british society for sexual medicine um and these guidelines were were brought about by an international consensus of experts and they were andrologists, urologists, endocrinologists, GPs um, and they got lots of doctors to sit down in a room and agree about something which doesn't often happen but they did this Um, and the guidelines that uh, the the British Society for Sexual Medicine came back with um, were basically saying that anybody with a total testosterone below 12 and symptoms and the symptoms were um low libido erectile dysfunction um and they wouldn't need to have all of them but low you know from the list of low libido erectile dysfunction brain fog poor memory um speaking of which um uh yeah poor memory um, and it could be a selection of any one of those um, and they could be considered for a trial of treatment essentially or free testosterone 0. Uh, below 0.22 so I think the um, important thing 
in remembering that is making sure that the blood test is taken at the appropriate time of day, not taken after a night shift as well, um, which uh, which can change things as well, sort of extreme fatigue um, uh, and sort of making sure that it's taken in, a, in you know, when there haven't been other reasons for them to have a low testosterone levels. And that might be sort of high alcohol intake um, or so particular drugs, uh, including things like opiates and things like that. So chronic pain patients can sometimes have a different, slightly different picture as well. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. 